the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We say all together, you are so lovely. You are so lovely, everyone. And we give a beautiful, you know, smiling one and another, our neighbor. How gracious to, to see you, to have a beautiful celebration at this Holy Eucharist, where is our Lord Jesus present. How gracious anyway. Uh, do we remember? Um, well, don't worry, even though you don't remember, I'm sure I mean, you remember. Uh, what does it mean? Harita Kum. Last Sunday, we have uh, shared it together, isn't it? Uh, my little child, uh, beautiful boy, beautiful girl, please stand up, get up in the name of Jesus Christ, obviously. Jesus Christ has done many, many miracles, signs gave gave you know, to the people. But unfortunately, today's Holy Gospel, as you see very well, Jesus came back to his hometown. For example, if I visit to South Korea, where I was born and where I was uh, growing, people know me, okay? Oh, Andrew, oh, he, when he was a child, oh, how you know the smiling was you know the uh, sometimes you know the uh, disaster something that the, <laughs> it has done many things I'm sure we know very well in the Bible we have no any signs uh, to understand about Jesus infant but Jesus not was born and uh, you know the uh, uh, Christmas and then suddenly. He you know, the, would be 30 years and block and uh, you know, will be up in a public. No, absolutely no. He was uh, one, of, uh, one of us. I mean, he was uh, growing uh, the, from the child, baby, and uh, you know, the beautiful boy, and sometimes probably didn't you know, the listen <laughs> months in you know, the uh, world, or as usual, no? And, and uh, you know, teenager, you know, aging, and you know, when uh, he was about 30 years old, he appeared as a, the prophet, the son of God, the Messiah. But at some point, he prohibited to not say anything about him as a Messiah, because he said, not on time. So, when after he has done many, many miracles and now <coughs> enters in his uh, hometown, what happened now? Happened exactly we could uh, imagine. People actually uh, the, said that they, they would not accept him. Would not accept him means they couldn't you know, believe Jesus as a, one of a prophet one of a holy man as a son of a God. Why? Jesus said at the end of the Holy Gospel, he was amazed at their lack of a faith. In fact, today we can say one word, prejudice. The real life, we don't know. The real, you know, the heart of a human, we don't know that is good or not, less good. But sometimes, with the appearance, we, you know, the judge, we give, a, you know, quickly some, you know, the judgment. That is absolutely wrong sometimes. We don't know what's going on. People, some point is the same. They knew very well Jesus was infant times. Uh, who was you know, Jesus, who was you know, Mary, who was Joseph. And also, the Holy Gospel you know, tell, tells us, uh, uh, mentions about Jesus' brother and sister. Obviously, not real brother, and I mean, you know, with the blood, and real sister. Just uh, you know, mentioned about you know, cousins or relatives. Long time ago, no, the, probably at, at this moment, some village, some you know, the country, they have uh, the same things, even though cousin, 
So they consider as a brother and sister. Lee, very welcome, and uh, with a face. Okay, yeah. Um, so how precious we, you know, the think we believe continually, and Jesus actually stopped to stress about this word, lack of faith. My dear brothers and sisters, we know very well why human must die, because, because we know very well the disobedience of Adam and Eve, unfortunately, the envy of uh, Satan, unfortunately, human must die. No hope at all. But human has tried to uh, communicate it with God with many, many you know, ways. For example, somebody wanted to pray for long times. Somebody spent lots of money as a donation to communicate to God. Somebody, you know, the going to uh, the uh, mountain or desert to, uh, you know, the uh, discipline to be like in a God. But not at all. Human has no hope to have a beautiful relationship again with God. But the good news will come very soon. Will come very soon because God had chosen one little girl, Talitha, little girl. She's named Mary and asked her to accept the word of God will be born in your tummy. This little girl said yes. Obedience. Now think about from the disobedience of Eve and Adam to Mary, little girl, obedience. Finally came us the Christ, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. This is the good news. This good news is so beautiful and powerful, especially those who listen, those who believe. Jesus wanted to, wanted to you know, the, uh, give lots of you know, the, uh, grace, miracles, signs in hometown Nazareth. But something was missing, lack of faith. In our area, probably we need God's mercy, God's grace, Jesus' presence, Jesus' love is an infinite love. But if you think, if we have no good you know, faith, lack of faith, we are always the same things. Nothing to happen, even though happen many things in the name of Jesus Christ, here in St. Jude, in our area. So how important the prophet Ezekiel the same. He didn't go to the, you know, the, the people of Israel, you know why? Because he knew people didn't accept the presence of God. People didn't you know, accept the word of God. Prophet Ezekiel exactly knows very well. But God said, Go to them and tell them, give them good news. It is important, Ezekiel said, whether they listen or not, this sect of a rebel shall know there is a prophet among them. Wow, this is very important. People believe in God or not. They listen or not. It is important that we are here. We, you know, the uh, witness for the presence of God in our lives through the word of God and through the holy sacrament. 
This is an amazing thing. I remember perfect when I was in South Korea, the bishop asked me to go to in Italy. I said in in my heart, no. No. Why I have to go? Because I don't want to go other in the country. Because I love this country. I love my parents. I want to stay with my friends. If I go there, lots of problem I will have. Not just the language, but culture, the different you know, color, different mind, different you know, other things. But when God said, we couldn't say no. Because we understand. All these not good things, negative things, comes from disobedience. So, obedience is so beautiful, so powerful, even though sometimes we don't accept it. But once you accept it, God will give you the power, the energy, the love, everything you could do what God wants. In fact, St. Paul, second reading, Corinthians, he said, I was so, you know, the weakness, but now I am strong because I know Jesus Christ stay with me. So my dear brothers and sisters, I know sometimes you are disappointed about the life, about some, you know, the persons, some happening in your family life. But don't be afraid to say, God help me. Please give me your grace. This little but powerful prayer is very, very important. I believe in Jesus. Please, Jesus, help me. I'm sure Jesus will help you, will be you, you know, granted and beautiful and powerful person. That's why we are here, even though the world, people believe or not, listen to the word of God or not. We continually, we continue to believe God and, you know, to pray continually and listen continually to the word, the word of God. And also, another beautiful treasure, which is the Holy Sacrament. Every time we have a Jesus body and Jesus blood in our body. This body, rotting body, but will be in the kingdom of Jesus Christ. For this reason, today, and tomorrow, we continue going, going and carry on in the name of Jesus Christ.